Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very nice exponential equation. We have e to the power z to the power i equals 1 and we're going to be solving for z values. So let's see how we can solve this problem using exponentiation. So first I want to write 1 as an exponential using Euler's formula since the modulus of 1 is 1 and its argument is 0 radians or 2 pi radians or any multiple of 2 pi radians we can go ahead and write it as e to the power 2 pi and i because remember e to the i theta multiplied by r gives you a complex number in polar form r is the modulus but our modulus is 1 Right, because we're talking about 1. And of course, theta would be the argument of z, which is the angle. Make sense? Cool, let's go ahead and replace 1 with that. And we got a simpler problem. One level down, right? This equals this. But you got to be careful because you could always add a two multiple of 2 pi i. Right, that's the period with the natural log. So, in other words, we can multiply this by something else, but guess what? It's going to turn out to be the same thing at the end, doesn't it? Let's find out. So, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to write this as z to the i equals 2 pi and i. It's a little different because there are no exponents on the right hand side. So, I'm going to kind of complexify z to the i, or should I say, we'll do the identity for complex exponentiation. What does z to the i mean, right? What is the meaning of a complex number to another complex number? It's just e to the power i ln z, right? Think about it. The formula is z to the w is e to the power w ln z. Make sense? Now, this equals 2 pi and i. Now, here's the critical part. I need to be able to write this in polar form. But here's what I can do. I can multiply this by 1 on the right hand side, which can be written as e to the power 2 pi ki. Since this is 1, multiplying by 1 is not going to hurt. But when we log both sides with the natural log, we're going to get some results. If you natural log both sides like ln here and ln here, that's going to give you i ln z equals ln 2 pi n i plus 2 pi k i. Of course, n and k are integers, right? Cool, cool. Now, we kind of have to split it up because depending on the value of n, we get different numbers. For example, think about it. 2 pi i and negative 2 pi i obviously are different complex numbers, right? Their arguments are different. Their lengths are the same. The moduli are the same. Moduli. And radiuses or radii are the same, but arguments are different, which makes them different numbers. So what do we do? We can do the following. First of all, I do need to find ln 2 pi ni. What is ln 2 pi ni? Or what is the natural log or what's the log of a complex number which can be written as r e to the i theta or should i say absolute value of z i should probably do this i think this is more practical ln r e to the i theta this becomes ln r this is a real logarithm plus i theta okay makes sense pretty easy right cool so that's the formula we're going to use. The modulus here is 2 pi n if n is positive. Of course, we kind of have to split it up. Let's just assume n is positive. Then this is going to become ln 2 pi n, which is the ln or the log of the modulus, plus i times the theta. What is the theta in this case? Think about it. If you have a positive multiple of pi, I mean i, then the angle would be pi over 2. Make sense? So it's going to be i times pi over 2. But guess what? We can add multiples of 2 pi to this. Let's add 2 pi m. 
and then our picture hopefully will be more complete. Make sense? Let's go ahead and erase this and simplify this a little bit, can we? This is actually ln 2 pi ni, so I'm going to go ahead and oops, substitute that here. Where? I can go ahead and take it and replace this whole thing with that. And then I get i ln z equals ln 2 pi n plus i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi m plus 2 pi k i. Here's the thing. We kind of have like keep adding the same thing, but notice that when you distribute, you're going to get 2 pi m i, right? Which is this. But we also have 2 pi k i. So we kind of take out, you know, a common factor. It's just going to be 2m and 2k, which are two even integers. Their sum is also going to be even. So we could actually get rid of one of those. So let's do this. i ln z is equal to ln 2 pi n. And then we're going to write this as i times pi over 2. Then we're going to get 1, right? Plus 4m plus 4k. Awesome, because pi over 2 cancel out with 4. But again, this is just 4 times a number, so we could easily drop one of these. I mean, you can use a different, very um, different constant like t. No big deal, let's just use it. I mean, I could, I could also drop k. Same thing. When you multiply these, you're going to get 2 pi i t. So i ln z becomes ln 2 pi n plus 2 pi i t, right? 2 pi i t. All right, great. Next step. We're going to go ahead and solve for z. Again, I'm just doing the n is greater than 0, but you can also do similarly the case where n is less than 0. Make sense? What happens if n is 0? ln 0 is not defined, so we n can't be 0. All right. So now let's go ahead and we can divide both sides by i or maybe multiply by negative i, which is better. Let's multiply by negative i here and here. This is going to give us 1. ln z is going to be negative ln 2 pi n i. Or we can start with this. I negative i squared is going to be 1 again. So we're going to start with 2 pi t. And then minus i times ln 2 pi n. And since we're looking for t looks like z kind of, I just noticed. Since we're looking for z, we're going to do e to the power both sides. And that's going to be e to the power 2 pi t minus i ln 2 pi n. And obviously this has a meaning, right? We can go ahead and write this as follows. e to the 2 pi t is just going to be the modulus. And we have our complex number in standard form, cosine of negative ln 2 pi n plus i times sine of negative ln 2 pi n. Where does the negative come from? From here. Make sense? Close the parentheses and that should be the solution for n positive. For n negative, you can go ahead and find it out. But this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.